Hello, everyone. This is Naveen Manika. I'm here to talk to you about data governance using Cisco Edge Inclusions. I'm a technical marketing engineer with the Cisco IoT BU, and uh, I've been with Cisco for about 12 years now. You can find a few samples of uh, code exchange code uh, at DevNet's page uh, for Edge Intelligence, so do check it out. And there's definitely other recipes that you can try it as well. Edge Intelligence is a part of the Cisco IT story. So we have a full stack of uh, hardware and software offering solutions to provide for data extraction at the edge and securely transferring that to an application that requires it. So Edge Intelligence plays a very critical role in allowing you to extract data securely from the sensors themselves, physically attached to the gateway, and delivering it to multiple applications, either on-prem or in the cloud. So Cisco Edge Intelligence offers four stages in extracting data from the edge, transforming it at the edge, and governing it, and delivering it to the application that requires it. EI, as it's called internally, supports Modbus, OPC UA, and MQTT, and other industry standard protocols to extract the data. But extracting data alone is not sufficient for you to realize value from the data. According to Gartner, 75% of the data will be processed at the edge. So in, in anticipation of that, Edge Intelligence actually offers industry standard developer-friendly tools for you to transform data at the edge using VS Code and extensions for it. Security is always a concern for IT and OT professionals. So AI includes a policy engine which allows you to control what data is shared to whom and when. Data is only useful if it is delivered to the application that drives your business requirements. So EI has integrations into popular tools in the cloud like Azure and AWS and other software vendors like Software AG and Quantella and industry standard protocols like MQTT. Reading this diagram bottom to top, you start with an architecture which starts with the physical connectivity. The ICs, the IRs, and the IE portfolio of IoT allows for that physical connectivity to be made. And Cisco IOX offers the application hosting framework to allow for applications like Edge Intelligence to run on the gateway itself. And within Edge Intelligence, you have a microservices architecture, which starting from the bottom is a southbound connector, which talks the native protocol to the sensors themselves, extracts this data, and then either sends it out directly to an application or via the scripting engine allows you to transform it at the edge. And using the governance engine, you can now deliver the data to any of the non applications which have integrations of uh, with entities, like Azure IoT or an MQTT client. And at the top, you'll notice the clean separation between the control path and the data path. So it's a true edge to cloud or uh, edge to application solution, which allows you for clean separation between the personas who manage the solution versus who look at the data part of it. So I wanted to use a quick use case where I walk you through how edge intelligence is utilized in the field. So I'll take a public utility example which is water distribution in this case, which has many sensors looking at water quality and leak detection. And it offers the data extraction via Modbus through an IoT uh, industrial hardware, and through cellular backhaul delivers this data to multi multiple dashboards, which are monitoring different parts of the sensor data. And then um, let me get, get into a demo with how quickly this can be done with uh, using edge intelligence and show you a live system event. This is the IoT operations dashboard, which has Edge Intelligence as a service running on it. And as you can see, it gives you a quick overview of the assets which have been onboarded, what are online, how many are offline, the EI agents which are running on the gateways, and the policies which have been defined. As I mentioned earlier, the key steps to actually getting a solution end-to-end uh, -end created with Edge Intelligence requires you to first enable the EI agent, configure the assets, which are basically the sensors, add the destinations for the data, create any data logic that's required and deploy this data policy onto a gateway. Let's see how this is done. So we're starting with the agents. Once the IOX application is installed and onboarded, you should see that advertising itself here with the agent version and certain amount of information about the status. Once this is kind of step zero in my mind. So you start with the first, the asset types. You have ways to create an asset type. You give it a name, connection type of Modbus or PCUA or MQTP and then some uh, basic configuration details about access information on hostname and port number. 
And then there's a second section at the bottom, which is called the data model, which is basically what data metrics are available from the sensor and what needs to be extracted for the application in question. So in this case, I'm talking about three sensors, what I showed you in the use case earlier, chlorine, pressure, and turbidity. And this is protocol specific. Since it's Modbus, you have a register type, a polling interval, and the offset on the raw data type. So one good thing about edge intelligence, this is kind of the place where you are testing to see if you are able to talk to the sensor. So you can verify this data model right away. So when you click on this, you can choose a gateway that you want to test against. And it's a simple check now, which checks for connectivity to the gateway and from the gateway to the sensor itself. Once it's all green, you click the get sample data, you verify that the data is coming in and it's in the format that you want. You can refresh again to make sure that it's refreshing and giving you the data. So this gives you a quick confirmation on data is coming in and you're all good. So once this is done, you're now ready to create an asset inventory of the actual sensors with the serial numbers and map it to gateways, which are going to be the physical assets which are connected to in the field. So once this is done, let's talk about data destinations. In this case, my applications reside in Azure IoT Hub. So you get to choose uh, either IoT Hub or an MQTP server and basic information about device provisioning endpoint, the ID scope, certificates, and keys and the message structure of what will be delivered to Azure. So you can have it as simple as a flat key value pair JSON, or you can group the telemetry under this, include timestamp, include any custom attributes that you want to define and group them separately as well. You can get as complex as this. So I've already defined an Azure instance for, which is pointing to my Azure IoT Hub. So I will be using this. So the next part is about transforming the data. So now that I have extracted data, I need to talk about transforming. So I will, I use, uh, we have an extension for edge intelligence with uh, Microsoft Visual Studio Code, which is available in the marketplace. You can download it. Uh, the latest version is 104 and you can download and install it. Once you have, you will, you can choose to log in and create a new data logic. So when you create a new data logic, there's a few information that you need to provide to actually get started. First is the input as to where you're getting the data from. So as you see, this uh, polls the portal and EI portal and gets the information that's been already configured. I choose water sensor in this time, then you choose how often you want to run this data sensor or data logic. And then I'm saying invoke it on every new piece of new data. And then you'll define a JSON model, which is what the output data logic will look like, output of the data logic. So, and once you have created this and created a sensor logic saying, okay, this is what my data should, what should happen to the data at the edge, how will it be transformed, how often I want to publish it out, all of that will be done within a JavaScript uh, function. Once you're done, you have this option of testing it again. So at every stage within Edge Intelligence, you get to test your output. So one, you, know, you got to see the asset definition where you could test it with, a, uh, uh, with the asset directly with the data model. Now you get to test the data logic as well. You choose an EI agent that you want to deploy against. You can have, use a null destination on a physical destination. And then you deploy this data logic onto that gateway and then you can start debugging. Once you're happy with the script, you click on ready for production and it'll get published and pushed to the portal. I've already done that for the use case that I had in mind. Here's the data logic, which is looking at a 30 second interval of data, calculating an average, and then publishing only if a particular threshold is met. So once you have this data policy uh, logic created, you can create a policy, which is either asset based or data logic based. In this case, I'll choose data logic. And then you choose the logic, which is just published and ready for uh, pushed from the VS code application and choose the destination that it needs to deliver to. And you have two kinds within Azure where you can either do device twin, which is device properties, or just the telemetry. Area. And you say save. I've already done this for a policy that I've created and I've deployed it on two running gateways. Once you do that, you get to see the status to see what is the state of the, source, the destination, when was data at last sent to the destination, and when was the, what is the state of the data logic as well? If there's any uh, runtime JavaScript errors, this is where it will show up. If there's any connection issues with Azure, this is where it will show up. 
So deploy is a function which happens when you want to finally, now once you have defined everything, put together, define the mapping of the asset input to the output, to the data logic, to the destination application, that's what is a data policy. Now that everything is running fine, let's quickly check that uh, my Azure application is receiving it. I have my time series insights environment connected to my IoT hub. And I have, uh, let's look at the data logic going in. So I see that the pressure is the one I had threshold running on. I can see two gateways which have been published uh, with the data policy that are publishing to IoT hub. And I have it in time series and I can see that no data higher than 30, which is the threshold I had in my data logic has been published to the uh, cloud application. So this is a quick example of how you can use Azure Intelligence to customize what data is being extracted and then send it to the application of choice. And you have that governance piece where you choose which piece of data goes to which destination. Thank you for your time. And be sure to check out other DevNet uh, resources. There is a DevNet landing page for Azure Intelligence. And also, there's a sandbox and learning lab which you can use to get familiar with Azure Intelligence.